Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and this is the third part of a very long drawn out haul that I did actually buy all of these things in one day and I have since been shopping, but those items are still in my trunk. So I'm really backed up and I'm going to try to get through this stuff. There is a ton of makeup in this haul and I was joking with my husband earlier and I said, I feel like I want to name this haul the dawning of the age of Aquarius because there's so much psychedelic print in this haul that it actually makes me happy and it makes me feel like, okay, I have enough psychedelic print finally. And I never have enough print and color. I, I always feel like you could always add a little more crazy floral 60s retro print, but there is kind of like an overload of it in this haul. So wait till you guys get a load of it. And it is, I think we're in Aquarius, right? Because yeah, Valentine's Day is Aquarius. So we're in the dawning of the age of Aquarius. <laughs> and this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. This That's what this haul is. It really is. So, okay, I'm going to get into it. Um, in my walkthrough, I don't know, at this point, I think it was like two weeks ago, before the battery died on my four-store haul, um, I did show you guys these plates. And they... It, um, they have like the hobnail in them. They're so nice. I really love them. I love that they're actually not like really high so they can, because I have one of those uh, farmhouse metal kind of like racks that you slide your plates into. And when the plates have a low profile like that, I can slide two in one slot, which means I could buy more things. And I do break dishes a lot because... I have like an L-shaped, like a little L-shaped counter and I have to reach all the way up and I can't tell you how many times I go to pull the plate out and it just rolls out and then I smashes on my granite countertop. It's a miracle I haven't broken the granite countertop yet, but I honestly had zero plates and I was like, oh, well, I'm moving. But then when I saw these, I was like, well, they'll be broken before I actually move. So I'll buy them. <laughs> and... I actually only, I didn't buy the bowls because I still have a lot of super cute boho bowls that I got from Family Dollar a few years ago at $2 a piece, but they're literally amazing. They, they are my favorite bowls in the world. They're all different colors. They're just amazing and they have a lot of teal in them. So they're very like pioneer woman looking. I broke all my pioneer woman plates too. It's really sad, but I feel like these could be pioneer. I feel like they're pioneer woman dupes, these plates. They're very pioneer woman-ish and for solid plates. And I actually like the mug. And I bought myself a Keurig that's the same color. So I'm in like teal overload and I really like that. And when I picked these up, I picked, I actually picked up three plates, three salad plates and four mugs because I know the Dollar Tree is going to come out with their um, summer plates, the lemon ones, and I want to get those too. I love the lemon plates, and I broke all of mine, so I'm going to be replacing them. And I feel like I could always get teal plates, but you can't always find lemon plates. So I didn't want to overload. So I just got three of each, just so we have them in the house to have some plates. And I do have a lot of, like, those plastic um Melanie, melanine, melamine. And I remember that Dollar Tree had made these. I think it was last year when they released those mandala looking plates. They were like white with like blue mandalas and they released these placemats. And I went on a hunt for them actually. And I found these. These I actually didn't buy that day. I bought these the other day, but I brought them in from my card just to show you guys that I actually found them, and I'm so excited. I don't know if they've re-released them. I don't think so, but I'm almost, because I had a really hard time finding four of them, but I knew they were out there, and I really like how they look. They don't really go with them, but they kind of do, and I like it when things match and don't match all at the same time, and to me, this makes me really happy. I love it, and these are super easy to clean. 
so I'm going to be using those like on a regular daily basis. But I did buy, because I can't help myself, I did buy a lot of other things to go with my plates. I did get four. I probably am going to buy more of the teal plates. I don't know why I bought three of everything. I should have got at least four. I did buy these. Now, these are not the placemats that go with these dishes. They have placemats, actually, that are just like this towel. But I bought this towel because it matches in my kitchen. And it's actually those microfiber towels. And it doesn't actually do anything but just match my kitchen. It doesn't, it doesn't serve a purpose. It doesn't wipe anything. But I really love the colors in these placemats way more than the plain gold and um teal that the place because the placemats that match this towel they're just exactly like this just flowers and i was like uh but the other one gets has butterflies and the print on the other side is green so let's say i want to flip this over and do something with this for saint patty's day i can i kind of like that because when you put it down you can't see the print you could see it when i'm holding it up in the light but when i put it down you just see green. So I kind of love that they're green on one side. I could even put them as a runner like across my table for St. Patrick's Day with some table scatter just to make it a little fun. But I absolutely love this print. I think this is super pioneer woman looking. I completely love the butterflies. I could actually run them across the table and use them as a runner with this print too for the spring. They're just really pretty. They do look so pretty with the with this color they they really do and I couldn't resist honestly for a buck each I bought four of them and I bought four of the easy to clean ones and I'm not going to use these every day but they are really easy to wash these do not stain you could literally drop pasta sauce on them throw these in the washing machine I've even bleached them and they come out spotless they're made out of like polyester polyester cleans perfectly so I really like those. They'll probably last forever. And I've even put these in my dishwasher at times. If I'm lazy and I don't feel like wiping them down, I just throw them in the dishwasher and they come out spotless because these are completely plastic, like plastic, plastic, plastic placemats. But I, oh, and I love the name of it. Actually, it says Moroccan tile. Now that makes sense because I actually love Mexican and Moroccan tile. Yeah, these are so pretty. Anyway, that is um, what I got for my kitchen that was kind of exciting. Running along the whole the dawning of the age of Aquarius theme, I'm just going to start picking up random colorful objects to share with you guys because that's what's happening in this haul. Um, I did see these, and they're part of the Spring Fling line, but um, they were like in the party section. I don't know what they're supposed to be for. Like, I guess maybe party favors or wedding favors or Easter party favors. But they're basically like um, Chinese food boxes, but little teeny mini ones. And I bought them because I, like I said, I've been selling off a lot of things. I just have so much stuff that I've accumulated. There's five in each box. Uh, in each package, there's five of them, and they each have, like, a little handle. They're really, really cute, actually. Like, crazy adorable. They do make really good gifts. Um, I could see them being, like, really cute gifts for, like, small presents. Like, if you have, like, a bracelet or if you have a paparazzi business. I've seen a lot of people sell paparazzi. These are cute, I think, for packaging to send your sale like I don't know if it comes I don't know how those things work but I do see that um on Denise's haul she shared like a really cute um haul from her paparazzi selling friend and the lady had packaged it in really cute packaging but like the reason that I'm buying things like this is because I've been selling off like a bunch of things that I just have a ton of because I have tons of costume jewelry and tons of like rings just a lot of jewelry that I don't really wear anymore. And it's been selling on eBay. I have very cute vintage like silver jewelry and stuff like that. So it's been selling consistently. And before I put things in like, I have those little 
mesh bags that they have in the baby section. I don't know what they're called. They're like party favor bags. They're like clear. What are those things called? Like sachet bags. They're like sheer mesh, not mesh, but like crinoline type bags um, that you pull. So I put the jewelry in that bag and then I think it's cute. I mean, I know that I'm paying like 20 cents more, but I feel like when you take a picture of the item and you have this little box in the distance of the picture and you say that you'll gift package it like for their mom or because I'm like, you know, we'll gift wrap for your mom or we'll gift wrap for your Valentine or, you know, socially distance, whatever. I put that in my listing. I'll wrap it up for you for 20 cents. Maybe someone will buy it as a gift and, you know, it'll fulfill their needs easier and it's only costing me 20 cents. I have to ship it and I want it to look nice. I want the people to give me positive feedback. So, you know, I just have been buying little things like this. And they do come in two different prints. And I can always save them to give people that I know presents also. I do have a lot of little things to give all the time. So it's just 10 little gift boxes. But they're like crazy adorable. And... Yeah, you know, so you could think outside the box with these because if you pick up, let's say, a pair of earrings for a friend and they don't have a gift box or if you buy something on Wish and you put it in some tissue paper and you put it in one of these boxes, I mean, this is so cute as gift wrapping and I'm completely in love with it. It's it's definitely spring flingish and for two bucks, I feel like I have 10 nice little gift wraps right here and 10 for $2 I think is an awesome deal. So I was really excited when I found those. I could have bought more, but I stopped myself. I do have like a few food items that I bought not in that haul, but I don't want them to sit in my car forever. One of the food items that I have that I actually bought these a while ago and I never shared them with you guys because I just left them in my car. I bought like three bags and the other day I was like, you know, I should have shared these with them because I don't know if, you know, you guys know that these are out there or if you've tried them, but... They're two ounce packages of almonds roasted and salted. They're really, really good. They're non-GMO. They're by, they're made in the USA and the brand is called Maddie K's. They also have like a spicy version. I like this plain roasted salted version. They're really, really good almonds for a dollar. This is a very great deal. And although this is like a novelty food item. I figure I'll share it before Valentine's comes and goes and it, it will never have been hauled. Um, I'm just going to stick these in a bag for my husband because they're actually pop-up pops or like, you know, the Chupa Chup lollipops and no one's probably ever going to eat them or maybe my son will end up pulling the lollipop out and eating them. But I just bought them because it's Harley Quinn and the Joker and it's, I mean, they're Marvel, but... Really, my husband and I love the Joker and Harley Quinn. We really do. I really loved the Joker movie. And I also loved the Harley Quinn movie that came out re recently. I just, I love Harley Quinn a lot. And I just think that this is really cute to give him for Valentine's Day with a couple of other things. I think he'll get a kick out of it. I mean, we're not really going to eat the lollipops. Somebody will eventually, but it's really like the novelty purpose of it. And... These were a quarter a pack. They're expiring on Valentine's Day. So I picked up three packs of them. My son will probably eat them before Valentine's Day anyway. And I definitely love a coffee cake every now and again. So I'll probably have one of these in the morning with my coffee and they'll be gone. Just three packs, a quarter. I mean, how can you not get them? I've never even actually seen them. They're by Dolly Madison and they were 25 cents a pack. So I don't know. I'm sure they'll be gone. But I thought that was I thought that was pretty crazy. I've never noticed them before. I don't really ever look at the single pack things. I very rarely look at them. I just so happened to once have found lemon cupcakes and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. But most of the time I don't ever see those. And then I have like so much color that my eyes have found a sense of fullness. <laughs> I could, when I walked and when I was walking in the aisle and I saw these, I was like, what, what is that? And then I'm like, wow, I've never seen that at the Dollar Tree. I cannot even begin to describe to you guys how cool I think this is. Like I just, there's more, there's more. I 
I mean, I can't handle how cute these are. Are you guys seeing these prints? Like, where are they? They're coming from like 1964 heaven. I can't handle it. Now, the honest truth is that I have no idea what I'm doing with these, but I will say this. If you're handy and you can sew, you could really make some unbelievably fantastic, adorable, retro like pillows by taking each pack with its like contrasting print fabric, stitching them together and making throw pillows out of them. I mean, this is like incredibly retro, fantastic, very Anna Sui. I love this print. Vera Wang-ish. Just so, this print is everything. Like I can't take it. I will wear it as a headband. You can wear it as a like headscarf. I'm totally going to wear that in the summer. I mean, I can't. This is so cute. I have my sunglasses on right now. Or as a, like, it's just, it is just so retro. Or even if you just tie it to your summer bag. Like if you have like a cute pink patent leather bag, which I do, and you just tie this to the strap of your bag. How cute is that? It's just, it does not look like you paid 50 cents for it. You're getting two for a dollar. Two of these super cute summer scarves for one dollar. And so this pack comes with, and I'm positive that I have every one that came out of this box at least because I saw the box full when I picked these up. So in this two pack, you get this. This is my favorite print. This is over the top gorgeous. And then this, I don't really love this one, but it comes with it. And, you know, you never know. You might need this more conservative print for something. Sometimes you just don't even realize it. And then something comes across your path and you're like, oh, I have the perfect scarf. So I'm obsessed with scarves. And then there's this two pack. And I actually like the kind of conservative square one. I love these neckerchief scarves. I really do. And I love wearing things like that in the summertime. I love it with like tank tops. And if I'm going to the beach, it's very cute and retro. And I actually love the stripey one more than the printed one. But again, if you're handy and you sew, these two together would make a killer, killer retro pillowcase like sofa pillow or just very super cute pops of color. Again, you can, um, I have an orange bag. I could just tie this off the strap of my bag and wear black and still look super cute. It's just, these are really cute. These two are both, a, I, and they're orange. They're like that orangish red. I, everything about them is, I, I just cannot believe that these are from the Dollar Tree. These actually look like if you just take the Dollar Tree haul away, take everything away, take these scarves and put them like in a, in a place with like a coiffed lady and like a perfect outfit, you would never, ever guess that this wasn't high, high end. Even the, the fabric itself, even though it's cheap China fabric, it feels really luxurious. It's just... It's, rem I'm shocked. Like, I was like, what on earth is that? Wow. Like, I couldn't believe. And it is a Greenbrier product. Yeah, it totally is a Greenbrier product. But I don't ever remember them having such cute things. You can put these in Easter. Okay. And this one, I mean, I can't even, I can't even take it. How cute is this? This is so adorable. This is perfect for an Easter. Put this, tuck this into one of the baskets. And the, I feel like this belongs in an Easter basket. In fact, I'm probably going to put it in one or two because these are just screaming Easter to me. They're so, ugh, I just can't handle how cute they are. They are really, really cute. I feel like 
feel like I have to put every single one of these on my head. I don't know why, but I love them. I feel like Rhoda when I, I just love these. I could, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I don't even know, like, I'm going to probably split them up and share them with a friend, but I don't think, I don't know if anybody likes these as much as I do. I don't know if people wear scarves like that anymore. I do. I know my friend Gretchen does. She probably would love some of these as well. They're very fun. But do people really wear these kind of scarves anymore? Or is this just like a weird thing that I still do? Because I don't know. I'm just weird that way. And then there's this print. This one looks incredibly fabulous. I, this is like a very classic, really lovely, really classically nice. It's very, very nice. It even, it actually reminds me of an Hermes print, which is kind of crazy because I actually love Hermes perfume. It's crazy expensive. And I always look it up and look at the deals because the last bottle that I had, my husband accidentally dropped out of the trunk and broke it. And we had paid like $280 for it, which is insanely expensive. But it was like our, my, it was his anniversary gift to me and it fell out of the trunk and broke. And I, I forbid him to buy me another bottle, even though he asks me all the time. So it's just too expensive. I have like little samples of it, but um, I always look at the deals that they have on it and stuff. And it looks like an Hermes print scarf, which I thought was crazy because it's like a dupe of Hermes for 50 cents at the Dollar Tree, which is unbelievable. But these are just really hot. This is a very high end print for 50 cents, guys. I mean, find a reason to wear it. Find a reason to attach it to your purse. It just kicks up your, it makes you happy to look at it. I don't know, but I'm going to, you can even decoupage these fabrics. I just recently did a DIY where I decoupaged my love sign with a shirt that my dog had chewed up, but you can decoupage all of those spring and hello. You can take, oh, I might do that actually. The, this, I'm going to get more of this one. This one screams Easter to me. I'm going to get a second bunch of these. And my hello that I hold a while ago, I'm going to decoupage it with this because this is like, or the spring one. I forgot which one I have, but I have one of those signs for the spring. I think it does say hello. Does it say hello? And then do I have spring and hello? I forget it. I'm crazy. I have to go through my stash. I don't even know what I have anymore, but I don't know what I have, but I'm going to be it's going to be getting decoupaged with this and it's going to scream spring. If it doesn't say spring, it is now because that says spring just by saying hello with that print. And that'll come out really cute decoupaged. I'm like obsessed with decoupaging things, actually. It's so fun and easy and it just transforms things into like a painting or like something completely different than what it was in like that amount of time. I just love things like that that totally changed something with very little effort. That's my thing. So to further solidify my um, coining this whole as the dawning of the age of Aquarius themed, um, this really will push it off the deep end. This is like the most 60s-ish glow in the dark kind of inspired artwork that I don't think anybody's buying. I know people have shown it. Had, did anybody even buy it? But I had to have it because now when I tell you guys what I had to have this for, you're going to be like, what is wrong with you? Now, you guys know that I plan on moving and I just want the people that buy our house to love our house. I feel like it's going to be an older couple. It's a really little bungalow. Um, we did make some like attic additions. So it could be like a really young couple starting out with really young kids that wouldn't mind like bunk bunking and like an attic. I mean, my son is just too big for a, a, a room that you can't really stand in. And then he has a really tiny room down here with the laundry area in it, but little, little kids with a young couple just starting out, or maybe just one kid, one small kid and a, a young couple or a really old couple are gonna buy this tiny, tiny bungalow. But the attic, the, the pull down attic of our house is very dark, but it does get a little light from 
the the bedroom because we did open a window so my son can have like he actually has like a really awesome loft with like barn wood it's pretty up in his room it just you can't stand in it only in the very center and um i just think it would be so cute that when we move when they go up into the attic attic because there is some light that comes through from the window that we put in even though there's a partition there's like a little like you know those little weird scary doors but light does come through it so it feeds into these so when you pull the like attic the other because it's partitioned there's two separate attics basically but it does get a little bit of light so it'll feed this glow in the dark thing so when the people open the pull down attic, I want to put these on the wall and leave them there. So when they go up in the attic, it'll say all of these things. I think that it's really kind of cool in a weird way. I don't know, for $3, I like to do things like that and surprise people. Um, and I like to keep thinking about how I'm not going to be living here anymore. Someone else is. The more that I put that intention and buy things for the next people, the more I'll be out of here as soon as possible. So... This one says Born to Shine, and I just think it's so cute, actually. It really does glow in the dark. I, um, I'm i probably going to put them into the light and then close the lights in my bathroom and show you guys. They really glow in the dark. This one glows the most for some reason. You are my sun and stars. This one is really cute, honestly. I really like it. I might actually keep this one, and I don't know where I would put it, but... It's so cute when it, when like the way that it shines is really cute. And um, just the green parts glow in the dark, obviously. And this one says, look up and get lost. But like if you just bought a house and you opened up the attic in the middle of the day or whatever, and you saw these things lit up in the thing in the dark, you would be like, oh my God, those people were so cute. They left these behind. <laughs> or at least I feel like they're going to think that. Or they might be like, that lady was crazy. Why did she leave those crazy glow in the dark things? They might gut my whole house. Who cares? The point of the matter is that I'm thinking about it positively and that's all that matters. And I did pick this up and I already managed to mangle it. I messed it up a little and I broke my chalk, but that's okay. It's the hello, welcome, Wi-Fi password is. Very simple, but I like the way that they wrote the hello. I like that there's lots of fonts. I love words and I love when they use lots of different fonts. I guess, yeah. That's what it is that I, because there were a lot of different ones to choose from, but I think it's pretty cool actually. And um, if I don't use it here, I'll definitely use it when I move. Um, Cause I don't have anyone coming in to ask me the password here, but I'm sure that I will have people coming over my house again at some point in life. You know, you, the universe will at some point allow us to have normal lives again, I believe. And hold these before, and I said that I wanted the retro floral one, but it was sold out. And then I broke one right in my hand, which is okay. I fixed it, and I love them, but I was so happy when I saw this one. It was the only one, and I snatched it up because I do have two really cute summer orange tote bags. One is leather, and the other one is like a neoprene, like waxed canvas type bag. And I just know how cute it'll be when I pull this out with all my receipts and my tax papers in it and it's coming out of like an orange bag and I was envisioning it and I wanted this so badly because these are really useful I'm already using the other two they're really useful at keeping you organized and you, you can stick things in different parts and take notes and staple stuff to them but oh somebody ripped this one okay maybe they wanted to spit their gum out who knows i don't know but it was the only one i'm fine with it i'm so happy that i found this one because i just love it i love 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 it. again the dawning of the age of aquarius aquarius like it's so everything has a crazy print and and there's more truth i don't dollar tree actually has really great masks that are in my car that i've hauled but these are not them. But I did hold these because some of my friends actually like this type of mask more for their kids. I don't like these masks that are one piece that don't have the separate. I just, I don't like them, but some people like them. And these are kids masks. So I bought them for my friend's kids because they like this kind of mask. And 
I think they're super cute. I mean, do you guys see how cute these prints are? BFF, XOXO, oh my God, selfie. And then a bowl of fruit with like selfie faces. It's really, really, they're, they're very cute prints. I just don't love them. And then, honestly, I bought this one because it had hearts. And I figured it would be cute for Valentine's Day. But then I got another one in my haul that has lips on it. And it's even better. And I regret buying this one, but I already have it. So I'm sure I'll use it. It's white. It'll get dirty really quickly. And I don't really like these masks. I just bought it because I figured it would be cute for Valentine's. That's the honest truth. And maybe I'll give it to someone. If I know, if someone tells me that they like those, I will happily hand it to them. Because I do like the other type that has the elastic instead of the one piece see this this one is you guys know what i'm talking about everybody knows what i'm talking about but these masks from the dollar tree are just not i don't like it's like fake it's not cotton i don't know i don't love them but i did love the print and i considered it and now i've reconsidered it because sometimes you get one thing at the Dollar Tree and then the next day they have even better stuff and, and you just can't help yourself. But for a dollar, who cares? Like at, at Dollar General, masks are not a dollar. So, I mean, even at Dollar General, they're not a dollar. So I'm okay with it. I could always give it to someone else. I could drop it off at the shelter without opening it because, I mean, I actually didn't buy a lot of masks for Valentine's Day for the shelter. But even if I drop off one with all the other stuff, someone will use it. And I did pick up two packs of these because it says that these are good for hot and cold iPads, but I actually like to use these for when I get like a headache or a stomach ache or you can use like, they're really, really comforting if you have like a stomach ache and you put them in the microwave and then you put them like in the waistband of your panty or your pants. These really do help. Like they soothe like a, like a bad stomach or they're just really great for like stomach cramps and I have had them in the past and I was really psyched to get them again because after a while they do kind of like I don't know they just sort of disappear they could be lost in my freezer I, I don't know what happened to mine but I did have them um I think what I had one pack of heart ones and one duck pack which I don't know maybe it was from the spring but it was from the Dollar Tree, but they work great. They're really, really good. Or even if you like hit yourself, it's a, it's like a compress. Like if you bump into something and you want to like hold it there, keep one in the freezer and just keep one in a drawer and you can make it hot. But they're definitely really good for cramps. They're excellent for that. If you feel like putting some on your back for like, like kind of like a heating pad or if you get like an earache. I like to put warm things by my ear if I get an earache. I just like to have things like that, like natural homeopathic remedies. They happen to work, and they're like a simple fix. Very just natural and simple. I love that. And for two bucks, if it can like make your headache alleviated or simplify your cramps, it's it's so worth it to just have them around. And, and, and they are really cute, so you can't deny that. They do make you happy to look at them in and of themselves that's they they didn't have red ones though i wish they had had red ones but they did not they only had this gold fleck or this like pink iridescent either way they're really useful from the dollar tree i've been buying black garbage bags that are just i think sure tie you get like seven of them for a dollar and they're great um but i saw these and i was like what is that about these are glad quick tie clorox resists bacterial odors Tall kitchen quick tie bags and their 13 gallon lemon fresh bleach scent. I don't know. Ble bleach scent is not like a preferential scent, but I just thought that maybe I'd like to try them in case I think that they're really great garbage bags. I could. Oh, wow. They actually smell really good. It says that it resists bacterial odors. So. If these work amazing, I could always order like a big box of these because I am dealing with a non-potty trained dog yet. And we do have some serious poops happening in this house. 
So anything that can make the garbage not stink or I go through so many garbage bags every day. It's just getting crazy. So I figured I'd try them. I've never seen them. I've never, ever, ever seen these garbage bags in my life. And maybe the universe sent them because it's a sign that I need them. Who knows? Goodness, did I find an insane amount of makeup. Just score after score, you guys. So I did start to find a lot of floral, uh, flower brand stuff again. I don't know if they're bringing it back or if it was the stores that I was in. Because two of the stores that I went to, I have never been to in my life. They're way out in like further in Suffolk and um, I've been in that area, but I've never been to those Dollar Trees and I've heard people say this. It's called Give Peach a Chance by Flower Beauty, um, Drew Barrymore's line. I've never seen it and I just picked up one because it's a very high shine lip gloss and I'm going to gift it because it's not, it's not something I would wear, but I figured I'd share it because it's really a very pretty lip gloss if that's what you like and flower beauty is really really nice quality makeup so i just wanted to say that it's out there but i have heard that before give peach a chance so obviously people have hold it i don't know if it just got there or i don't know because it's not my usual dollar tree but i did find these by jesse's girl these are gorgeous i bought quite a few of them because I'm definitely going to be giving these either on Mother's Day or something. So they had like a bunch of different colors. There's like a black one with like a black white marbly and like a purple marbly. But I was trying to like envision in my head when you put that on, what color will it turn into? And I was like, okay, burgundy and silver and white is going to be like a pinkish eyeshadow and I liked the thought of that but I didn't love the thought of like the other colors like I don't necessarily think that gray eyeshadow is so attractive you know it wasn't something that I thought I would be able to give away a lot of but so I did buy like 10 of these because I think that they'll look really nice on dark complected women and it is a really very pretty like dark pink eyeshadow and very metallic. It's really beautiful. Honestly, I would almost like it, but it will be too dark for me. Um, it's just, it's really nice quality. Um, it's mineralized bake powder eyeshadow. It's called Plum Frost. So I did pick up 10 of them. They're gorgeous. Like I think these are gorgeous. Really, I don't know what they originally cost. I don't know this Jessie's Girl, where it's from. I've never heard of it until I started finding it in the Dollar Tree, but started hauling this brand in the Dollar Tree. I had never heard of it. So I don't know if it's a real brand, uh, made in China just for Dollar Tree brand, because it is made in China, but what is it these days? But I do have to say that the packaging is really nice. It feels really like it's just... It feels really worth way more than a dollar. So I picked up a bunch of those. And then I picked up two really gorgeous hard candy highlighter and hard candy oil-free baked powder. Now these are gorgeous. Now both of them are gorgeous. Definitely worth more than a dollar. I picked up 10 of each of these. I feel that they will be really nice in gift baskets for Mother's Day as well. Um, now, this is a rose gold highlighter. It's beautiful. I'm actually wearing it today, but my skin has been really splotchy ever since I had the allergic reaction. So I don't know, but I'm using it today on my face and I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, I love rose gold and highlighter. I love hard candy highlighters. I just like anything that sparkles, even if I like my lighting might make me kind of look crazy sometimes, but in regular light. It looks nice, so I don't really know how to like make my lighting make it look perfect, but I just love these highlighters. I think that they're beautiful for like eyeshadow, for just, they're just so beautiful that I can't believe they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I just really can't believe it. 
and see how nice that highlighter is. That is really nice. Really a very nice a score. I was so happy when I saw these because I really, that was on my wish list and I hadn't found it. And I think like everyone and their mother has hauled this already. But when I found this, I hadn't seen it yet. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, what is that? And to be completely honest, I've like Googled it and I looked it up on YouTube and I don't totally understand what finishing powder is because it does kind of like highlight your skin, but I'm not clear on exactly what it's supposed to do. And I used to do makeup art, but I never understood like when they mix all of these colors together, because it's supposed to correct like irregularities in your skin, but these colors are usually all separated. So when they're all together, I don't know what they're supposed to do. I don't get it. But it says color correct finishing powder. I mean, when I did makeup, I had never seen anything like that. Honestly, maybe they had it and I just never used it. I just kind of use it like a highlighter. It's nice, but I don't know. What are you got? Has anybody found this? Like, what are you guys doing with it? What? What purpose does it serve for you? I actually used it as eyeshadow the other day and I loved it because it's very like pinkish, like highlighty, sparkly kind of, even though it's not supposed to be sparkly because it's so light, it is very like bright. Oh yeah, it does say brightening, doesn't it? No, I don't really understand what it's supposed to do and that's all there is to it, but it's cool. Whatever it is, is cool. So it's 1448 CC finishing powder, oil-free baked powder, color correct finishing powder. And I'll just, I'll show you guys what I mean because it's called Sheer Envy. That's what this is called. It doesn't actually say that anywhere on the outside. See, it's like, I think it makes like, a cool eyeshadow, honestly. It's just very light. Or I'll put it here. But when you, there, I mean, there's no way to not mix it all together. It's very like, it does have kind of like a shimmer to it, even though it's not supposed to. I mean, I don't know. It's really cool. I like it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but I'm sure of what I'm doing with it. And I don't understand the description because to correct your skin tone, usually they're separated. The reds, the yellow, the or at least that's what I know them to do. I don't get it when they're all together. They just kind of become one highlight kind of color. I don't know. It's very confusing. If anyone knows what you're actually supposed to do with it, please let me know because I actually watched YouTube videos on it and I still don't get it. So, but it's really pretty and I'd like to know what to do with it. Then I found this Hard as Ice Mega Last Top Coat and I think that's pretty cool. I actually needed another top coat so I picked it up. It's called Rock Party Weekend. <laughs> I just love the names of makeup. I love to always read the names of makeup because whoever has to think of them has a great job. I love that. And it's not a huge bottle, but that's fine. Um, if it helps make your nails healthier, it's good. My nails are gross. I'll be doing my nails later. I actually needed this to like do a good manicure. And it says, wild, mega last, hard as ice, up to one week of wear and shine. We'll see about that. But for a dollar, I definitely picked it up and I'm going to give it a shot. Why not? In case I have a rock party weekend, I have that. And then I found some very cool stuff, like really cool stuff. I got one of these. Now, I thought this was the cool white one that I had found the last time and I was so excited until I got it home and realized that it's black. This is black eyeshadow. <laughs> which I'm sure I'll gift because I don't use black eyeshadow. It's waterproof, sweatproof, and it's by Wet n Wild. It is a really awesome retractable eyeshadow style, very wide, and the sparkly, pearly, pearly pink white one that I had hauled 
the last time I absolutely love. I use it all the time, but I thought this was the same exact color. I don't know why I thought that, and I just found one, and I was so excited, but it's black, and I'll gift it. I found this. Um, I did pick up a few of them. It's called uh, Flamingo. It's called Flamingo Flower LS9, which is Lipstick 9. It's also a flower lipstick, and you could see that color is like magenta. It's not really my style, but I'm definitely sure that people will love it, and I'm going to gift it. It's like a really beautiful spring magenta pink. It's a nice color for someone who likes that color. It's actually like almost the same color as this, which is sort of funny. Oh no, way off. It's a true magenta, a flamingo pink. But I, I, I think I found two of those. I was shocked to find that. I never saw that when everyone was hauling flour. And I can't imagine that it was just sitting there all this time because they don't have any flour left in my store. That's for sure. And then I found two different tones of this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer which sometimes you can use um, as a low light, like when you're doing contour. Sometimes I use bronzer as a contour, but um, this one is called Sunset Striptease, and it's just a really, a really nice color, actually. And this one is much darker, and it's called What Shady Beaches, and I love it. I think that this... I think the name of this color is hilarious. What Shady Beaches is darker than this one. It's very dark, actually, but it will make a nice bronzer for a dark skin woman. And this Sunset Strip Tease is really a nice color. Probably a bronzer for someone just a little darker than me. It's a very nice color also. So I picked up a few of those also. They had quite a few of them. That had probably just gotten in. And this, which was a mega, mega, mega wish list item because I'm going to force my husband to do this for me sometime around Valentine's Day. Um, it says, for her nourishing strawberry facial mask uh, with vitamin C and for him antioxidant blueberry facial mask rich in vitamin E. Like, how cute is that? Seriously, that is so cute. That is just so cute. And if you don't, if... If you don't have someone to do it with, you get two masks, two masks for the price of one. So it's called Love Gram. It is so cute. Pick up a few of these and gift them to your friends. You can mail them easily. They're just so nice. I just, I love Spa Life. I really do love Spa Life products. I'm never disappointed. I love face masks. I thoroughly enjoy my face masks. I almost think I want to do like a giveaway of just face masks because I honestly have a ton of face masks. Oh, I want to turn off my candles because I wanted to burn them till they were like lower because I like it when tall taper candles are a little lower because I think that'll be fun to have for Valentine's Day. So I figured I'd be romantic with you guys and then be romantic again later when I relight them. So I'm going to turn them off now. <laughs> That's like the perfect height now. I don't like it when they're super tall because I knock them over and stuff like on the dinner table, but I, I that's perfect. Don't you guys love it when they're like burned a little? I don't know. I like it when things are used a little. I did find a couple of other flower items and I was shocked. Now I had seen people haul this quite a few months ago and I wanted it and I never found it. And I picked up eight of these VC3 and they still had a ton of them. And it is such a beautiful color. Isn't that a beautiful color? I'm going to swatch it. It's like a, I had seen people buy it and I was like, why can't I find that? Oh my God, I already, what did I do? It says, women deserve something beautiful. Oh, I love Drew Barrymore. I actually really love Drew Barrymore. Have you guys ever seen her show? And, oh, wow. Wow. This color is actually called Berry Moore. Okay, wow. It's a really, really nice color. It's like a matte, like really mauve. It's a beautiful daytime color, even though I don't really follow those rules. I just put on any lipstick I feel like wearing that day. 
I never have, but this is a very like go anywhere, daytime, matte. Like you could wear this to, it's a very nice color, really beautiful color. But this red, I love. And I wear it all the time. So you guys know what it looks like. And I have not seen this. I, I was like so happy when I found just one more. So I didn't have to buy it on eBay. But I got 10 more of these. And I'm not sure. I don't, I mean, I got a bunch now. I can give them out at the shelter. But I might gift a few of these to my friends. Because it's such a nice color. And I know it's such a nice color that I have a few people in mind that I think would would love it. Um, this by Maybelline. I, I only found two, but I couldn't believe that it is black, right? Wait a minute. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> this is navy. Well, navy is okay. This is by Maybelline, and it's navy glam. Hmm. I didn't realize it was blue. I'm so sad right now. I thought it was... Well, let's see. So it's number 283, navy glam. Sometimes navy mascara is barely blue. So let's check out. Oh, no, that's blue. All right. Yep, that's definitely blue. You know what? That'll look nice, though. It's. That's actually going to be a very cool mascara because it's definitely dark blue. And if you put your mascara on and then you just put a little bit of that on the edges it kind of does like a little like doo -doo 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 -doo. so it's a fun thing. I found two of these and I picked up two because I mean it's Maybelline for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. Even no way. That's a good and and it's nice. It's a good mascara. I I actually thought it was black and I was really excited. I love that brush. The shape. See the curve. Wish that I could really. I like the shape of that brush. It's a very good shaped brush. It has like that curve, a little curve. I like do not even really have eyelashes and I hate wearing fake eyelashes because my eyes droop down. So I don't know. Every time I've ever put on fake eyelashes, it's not ended pretty. And um, I did get, this was like, this is definitely black, yes, because there are like a lot of colors. You have to really pay attention. I went through like every single thing, but this is amazing. It's Wet n Wild, 80% is Mega Length Mascara by Wet n Wild, C139, very black. 80% longer looking lashes. Cruelty free. I think that that is amazing for a dollar like that's good mascara for a dollar very black it's all good actually let's take a look at that one as well to see what that brush is like i've actually i don't think i've ever used this mascara so i'm curious myself to see what it is like that's what the package looks like i love the package is beautiful oh Well, okay, there's nothing really coming out here. Uh, I hate to say it, but... Wow. Oh, my God. I thought... Do you guys actually see that difference? This is pretty good mascara. It actually makes it look like I have fake eyelashes on. Holy crap. Wow, my... You guys didn't tell me that my makeup was all over my face. Hello? <laughs> like, I've had a long day. I, I swear, if school doesn't end soon... Thank God, tomorrow is the last day of school and then kids go on break for a week. If I have to deal, it couldn't have come at a moment sooner because I can't handle internet school anymore. Distance learning is the ultimate like cruel joke that the universe played on parents because every day I'm going to the eighth grade all over again. At this point, 
I barely can run my errands. I barely have been able to function. I'm like driving to drop off donations and all day long I'm getting phone calls from teachers, from the principal, from, I just can't take it anymore. I'm so happy about, I have never looked forward to a break this much in my son's entire scholastic career, but um, yeah, I can't wait. So my makeup is all over my face. I've had it. It's pretty late actually, because I finally have been able to sit down and do this haul. And I was about to dismiss, did you guys see me be like, oh, this stuff is dried up. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, like this is pretty damn good. Ma oh my God. Okay. So here's a mental note. Don't test mascara out on your hand. You cannot tell if mascara is good like that. I mean, I already knew that, but I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes it is really liquidy and the brush didn't seem to make the good sound of, well, actually it does. I thought there was nothing in here. I don't know. Cause I don't, I've never really used a brush like that. That has like hardly any, I don't usually use that kind of brush, but it definitely made my, it made me look like I'm wearing fake eyelashes and it's, that's pretty amazing because the other one is called Falsy and well, we can test the blue out now because I have some, I have so much makeup on. I'm going to wake up tomorrow like a raccoon, but so, so that one is called Mega Length and this one is called Falsy, but it's navy blue. So let's see if we could see the blue on the end. I look like Tammy Faye Baker for real now. This is like, I don't know. I have so much makeup on and it's all running off. Um, I can't really, oh, I could see a slight, you could see the blue a little bit. I mean, if I did it the right way, I guess it was a good buy. I kind of like navy blue mascara just to put on the edges. Sometimes when you have a little bit of tan and you could see it more. I like it. I didn't know I bought navy blue, but navy blue is cool. And I definitely love this mega length. It's black and really nice. You guys should check that out. Look for that. This is some good stuff right here. I'm ha a dollar. I bought a few of those. I think I only found two of the navy and I think I got five of the very black. They had more, but I just picked up five because I wasn't sure if it was any good. I wish I had picked up more now. I mean, Gara. And then Gara that everyone, everyone, everyone hold. But I have to say that I haven't seen everyone hold the black. And I don't know if it's because they don't realize that black exists because it's so similar. The black and the black cherry are so similar that you almost don't realize. See how the packaging is like so similar? Um, I almost didn't get the black because I had seen everyone hauling the colored and I was like, eh, I don't think I'm going to like it, but I'm going to get it. You never know. So I really just got a couple of each of them to give away because I am not going to ever wear purple mascara. I could tell you that right now. I'm not a purple person and yet lately, but I, I will definitely use the, um, black cherry. That's beautiful. I love this kind of color mascara actually. If you've never tried it, you should give it a try. If you're a redhead or you have like, like naturally redhead, like Irish red, red, redhead or like a burgundy, it's a very fun color to add on top of brown or black mascara. This is a really fun type of color or at least other colors that I've had in the past that were like burgundy, I thought were really fun. And, uh, so I was looking forward to finding this for myself, but I will never wear purple mascara. I just won't. It's not my thing. Um, I don't think purple goes with green eyes. It's more of a blue eye kind of thing and um, or brown eyes or it's just not my thing. And I've never tried this. Maybe I will. I'm more, I like the navy blue more, but... I think the packaging is awesome and I thought that people would like it. Look, it has like little eyelashes. It's so cute. And supposedly you're supposed to be able to put your mascara on in a snap. So it's got this violet blue and this purple 
and this cherry, cherry, black cherry, but I hadn't seen anyone haul the black. And then I found two black ones and I was like, thank you. I'll take that because who doesn't need black mascara? So, and it's called 300 pitch black snap scara opens in a snap. So let's, oh no, on in a snap. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm delirious, you guys. So let's check this out. And I do, I think the packaging is really, really cute. And it's sheer. And yeah, see, that's the sound that I kind of wanted to hear the other one make. And it never had the little, you know, the little thing that you got to go like that with, the little extra. The other one didn't have that. And that kind of makes me feel like there's like nothing in there, but it definitely, it there is. So you just never know. But there is definitely plenty in here. This is nice. This is Maybelline. I'm I'm liking it. I'm not putting any more makeup on, but I'm definitely liking the shape of this brush. It's curved. It has that kind of shape that I love. I can't help myself. Every time I open a mascara, I have to apply more. Yeah, I really like this mascara. My eyelashes are all going to fall off while I'm sleeping because I have so much mascara on, I'm never going to be able to get it off. But, I mean, I don't know how much this costs regularly in the store. I have to be honest, I've never tried it in real life. But um, in the Dollar Tree world, Maybelline, Snapscara, black for $1. Yes, definitely. I'll take that. That's like... I don't know. I go through mascara like crazy because mascara after like about a month, it's just sort of gross. I think it like starts to dry up. I mean, how often do you guys change your mascara? I find myself wanting to throw it away after just a couple of weeks, like three weeks. And I feel like it's dried up, but I'll probably put the colorful mascara in the refrigerator or in my beverage fridge with my face masks because I'm not going to use that all that often and it'll maybe last a little longer. And then I was really excited to find, and I had seen people haul this too, floral values. Um, I had seen a couple of people haul it. I don't remember who I had seen haul it, but this is gorgeous. Uh, a very, very, not my color. I don't do purples. But it's beautiful for a dark-skinned woman, I think. So I did get 10 of these to definitely give away during... Um, I would have bought like 30 of them because I know that this will go really well if I had some really bright, nice, purpley pink lipstick. And that's what I was thinking. And then I found a ton of the Mataholics that have I haven't seen them in my Dollar Tree in ages. But in that Dollar Tree, they had a ton of them. So I picked up 10 of these and 10 of these. And I think that that's like really cute to even put in those little buckets that I got with some tissue paper. And if I give them out at Easter time or at Mother's Day with those little metal buckets, just even two, like if you get this and this and some cute tissue paper and maybe like a piece of candy, that's like a $4 gift that's super cute. I think for sure. I would love to get something like that. Even if I don't like the colors, I would just like to get that as a gift because that's so nice. And then you'll find a use for it. But Floral Values um, E3931 by Wet n Wild. And this black one is almost purpley and it has a lot of I don't know if you guys can really see that it has a lot of glitter in it and it's very like minerally it's really really very beautiful this is going to look gorgeous on the right complexion and i already know that dark complexion women have loved this lipstick every time i've given it out they've loved it i haven't seen it in a long time but it's a very popular color and i think that this will make a beautiful gift so i'm really excited to have found those I should have got more mascara. I'm so disappointed with myself right now that I didn't. And then this, I only found a couple of these and I've never seen these in real life and I was psyched. Now, like when I say a couple, that literally means two. So um, I have this one and another one, but it's 
called aerosol spritz matte mega last now i have a feeling i'm gonna love this color so we're gonna check it out it's by hard candy do you guys see how pretty that is with the lips it's just gorgeous isn't that gorgeous i think it's gorgeous really beautiful oh my god this is a seriously gorgeous color oh oh yes and it's matte I, i'm gonna love this lipstick and i'm gonna wear it with that maybelline eyeliner that i wear as lip liner that's my favorite lip liner that i've ever had in my whole life 900 <laughs> rust i like I'm obsessed with it. I'm on the hunt to get a few more of them because I use it all the time. I even blended it in with this um, Broadway Colors. I think in my last haul, I said that I'd be wearing this color and that it's gorgeous. This is the color, but I blended the Rust Brown Lip Liner and then put that matte lipstick, and it's very matte. It's like a lip stain. I can barely get it off of my lips. I actually like it a lot, though. It's a very cool color. My lighting is really weird. None of the colors are showing properly and it's really frustrating me today, but um, I think it's because one bulb burned out more. And I have to climb, I actually have very high ceilings for a very little house. I have to climb up to change them on a ladder. But this lipstick is gorgeous. If you guys get a chance to see this, grab it. No wonder there were only two. This is such a gorgeous, like burnt orange it's a beautiful color and i love hard candy oh no this is not hard candy what am i talking about this is wet and wild i'm so blind this is a wet and wild color that is the color it's gorgeous wow this is my new favorite lipstick guys when i say that something is my new favorite i'm not kidding trust me i am now obsessed the light just went off in my like I must get more of this lipstick. It doesn't have a lot of lipstick on the tube, and it's not a very fat tube, but it is very matte. It's really pretty. Wow, I love this color. This is very exciting. I very rarely fall in love with a color other than red. So it has happened. And the last but not least, I found this hard candy. I only picked up two of these for a couple of friends. It's called Dazzle um, Glitterazzi. I've seen people haul this. I don't think I found this, but I've seen other Glitterazzi in real life, but I don't remember this. I haven't seen this color or this exact. I just didn't, I have never hauled this color. And I called two of them for my friend. I think she'll love it. My friend Kathy will love this. It's called Dazzle. It's a very my friend Kathy color. So it's going to be in her Valentine stuff. And I just think it's a really, really nice color and definitely worth more than a dollar. This packaging is gorgeous. Look at that. I have all the makeup finds that I found. Sometimes you just have to get in your car and drive an hour away because, you know, you've seen everything there is to see in your stores. It just so happens that I get in your car and drive to Dollar Tree you've never been to before. And that's kind of what does the trick because Maybe these things have been sitting there. I don't know, but they are not in my Dollar Tree. I definitely haven't seen this in my Dollar Tree. I mean, I know, honestly, my Dollar Tree, I haven't been to my Dollar Tree, my very own personal around the corner for my house Dollar Tree this week, but they probably have this by now too because they, they're pretty good about getting things. I mean, everybody has hauled that. So that's like a current item, but I haven't seen flower in my Dollar Tree in a long time. I have never seen this kind of packaging by Wet n Wild. I keep thinking it's hard candy, but it's Wet n Wild. It's a beautiful lipstick. So pretty. I've never, ever, ever held this in my hand. And I've seen people hauling it forever. And I've never gotten mega length mascara at my Dollar Tree. And I've never gotten full C's mascara at my Dollar Tree. So let me know if you guys have these in your Dollar Tree because I'm just curious. And I never, ever saw this color. So I don't know. I mean, isn't it strange that there was that much flower makeup in the Dollar Tree that I went to? It has to be that they're bringing some into the stores again because it doesn't sit around. Also, in case you guys have never seen this Mataholic, it's got straight up glitter in it. It is like purple glitter 
there is all the glitter and glam that you could ever want to have in this lipstick. It's kind of amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful, shiny, sparkly. When I see people wearing this that have the right complexion, it looks amazing on them. I am not for that make color. It's not for me. But um, yeah, so... So let me know what you guys think of this. How are you guys using it? Have you ever seen it? And have you hold it? And what do you think of it? And of all the things that I found, I think that this eyeshadow is marvelous. And let's not forget about the rose gold highlighter. I'm actually wearing it today. I love this. And I feel like this was a stupendous bunch of makeup that I bought a bunch of. Some of them are gonna get gifted. It's going to make people happy. It was totally an incredible score in that store. That's like an hour from my house. That if I had to get back there, I probably don't even know. How. I'd have to find the receipt and look up the address. Because I just was sort of like, drive. And then once you get far enough from where you live, see if there's a Dollar Tree. That's kind of what I do sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move books in that Dollar Tree as well. Um, I have shown you guys some of my favorites. But I had to pick this one up. It's called Once Upon a Time in Crochet. And I don't know how to crochet. I don't. But I just wish that I knew how to. And I always swear that I'm going to try to learn. But how amazing is that? I wish I knew how to do this. If I knew how to do this, I would be complete. So I'm going to try again and look through it and see if I can figure out how to crochet any of these things but I just feel like if I know anyone that does know how to crochet I'm gonna ask around because it's just so amazing like it tells you how to make these look snow white and the seven dwarves look at that look at how cute red riding hood and the wolf I mean this is amazing this is an Etsy store ladies dream Hansel and Gretel ay yeah yeah look at how cute that is this is so cute. I just wish I was handy in that area. I don't know how to do it. I don't. Oh, look, Rapunzel. It's so cute. So cute. So I'm going to ask around. I couldn't leave this book there. It's just so darling and adorable. And uh, it actually does not... It does try, it has pictures of techniques. Maybe I'll try. I'm going to give it another try. I mean, I should be able to do this. It's not that hard. I don't know why. I just, I'm very like, I don't know. But I want to be, I want to be the type of person that can sew and crochet and knit. It's always been my fantasy. And then I saw this book. Chloe tells you how to sew. And of course, I mean, I'm sure that you guys are seeing the cover of this book is The Dawning of the Age of Aquarius. And that's why I bought two of them and put them in my cart. I don't even know how to sew or do any of this, but I want, I have to give these books to somebody that does. Like, I will find people that sew and I will be like, you need to have this. I think this would be cool too, if she's interested in sewing or anything like that, because it has like a lot of really easy to follow really cute psychedelic print retro I mean this book is just straight out of the 60s I just and I love the lady look at her I'm like in love I can't oh my god I love her dog too oh I bought two of them because I just feel like I'm gonna find people that are interested in sewing or maybe have some talent in it and give it to them it has patterns on how to make a little girl's pinafore. There's just so much really pretty stuff in here. It has patterns for everything in the book. Templates on how to make like, how to make this doll. Wow, that's so cute. It's such a cute book. I almost want to do a giveaway of this book. That's how I, th that's how fantastic I think this book is. This book is like something you would find in anthropology. And I know I like to say that, but I mean it. Look at this book. It's so, so amazing. It's so cute. If anybody out there likes sewing and would be interested in 
getting one of these books, let me know. I have two of them. I could not leave these books in the Dollar Tree. That's how amazing I thought they were. They're just so amazing. There's like all sorts of templates on how to make like these bunnies and just such cute retro vibed, really funky, cool, just old fashioned toys and stuff like that. So I think that I love both of these. I think they're incredible. If you're handy and you are interested in that, I think I'm going to do a giveaway. I did just reach 900 subscribers, so I'm going to do a giveaway. And I think that, I don't know how I'm going to do the giveaway, but it just dawned on me that I could. Um, hmm. Okay, so if you would like to win this book, right, these two books right here, if you're interested, put in the comment box down below, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the person who, so after like a week, yeah, after a week, I will go and I'll pull all the comments that have the words winner, winner, chicken dinner in, and I will do a contest and someone will win these two books. You have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to be 18 years and older and it has no affiliation with YouTube. I'm buying it and I'm sending it to you. So if you'd like to win these amazing, um, just incredible books on like craftiness, type in winner, winner, chicken dinner, and I will ship these to you. So that's my contest. The giveaway that I just made up right on the spur of the moment, because this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. And I'm going on and on and on, but can't help myself. I love them. They're the most awesome books. And remember, I did say that I bought two of these. So there's still the possibility that I might learn how to sew after all. But I would love to see what people could do with this, with the patterns and everything. I know that there are people out there that are crafty. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Put it in the comments down below and you could win. Go on. These are very cool books. My gift to you guys, it's called Hello Tokyo, 30 Handmade Projects and Fun Ideas for a Cute Tokyo-Inspired Lifestyle. I adore things like this. This book is so gosh darn cute. And see, things like this I can make. It's not like sewing. It's like crafty, upcycling, just putting things together, has really cute pictures, I just want to read this book. It has just really cute Japanese Tokyo vibes. So adorable. It's just a really cute book. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'll get out of it, but I have, I want to look through it. It has a lot of inspiration, design inspiration ideas in it. I love things that are colorful. I love it. I think it's really cute. So yeah, that was a score. And that book was originally 20 bucks. This cute crochet book was originally $17.95. And this beautiful retro book, I have no idea because the Dollar Tree decided to cover it up, but we're about to find out what it cost. The Winner Winner Chicken Dinner book by um, Chloe Tells You How to Sew. It's like I don't know. It's like a giant golden book. That's what it reminds me of. It was, wow, it was originally $24.95. Yeah, I mean, you can tell. It's an incredibly beautiful book. It has so much cuteness. Patterns. So many things that you, I mean, just pattern after pattern. It's, I don't know. There's a lot of like good in this book that I don't know how to utilize. Although look at that, she like fabric covered this old, I'm gonna do that. Oh my God, I could do that with those scarves. <gasps> there are so many things that you could do in this world to make things look just fantastic. And, and I'm looking at this and it's making me happy again. Okay, so Winner Winner Chicken Dinner wins those two books. And then another book that I found that I was like, wow, yet another journal, but nothing beats my Zen as bleep journal and then the inner mind journal that I hold those were like my absolute favorite and then this one is really hilarious um the daily zen journal 
I think it's kind of like for real, though, because it really wants you to do these like things that make you become more Zen. It says interview someone you love about interview someone you love about your relationship. Transcribe the interview below. Okay, interesting. You could interview anyone. This is like a good Valentine thing too. And I just opened up to it. Interview a stranger about something he or she cares about. Transcribe the interview below. Interesting. What makes you glad to be alive? Make a list of everything you're grateful for. Save it someplace where you'll see it regularly. I took a photo of mine and emailed it to myself. Oh, okay. I do that anyway. I, I'm, I'm Zen and I don't even know it. Try doing a walking meditation. Let go of a different thought or attachment with each step. Hmm, interesting. It's funny how these kind of books keep finding me. It's book season at the Dollar Tree, but all sorts of like the languages of letting go are following me at the Dollar Tree. It's really amazing. Do something you stuck you suck at every day. <laughs> what will you do today? I'm going to learn how to sew. There you go. Wow, I've got to do it every day. I don't know about that. I don't like to be disappointed. So do not follow the ideas of others, but learn to listen to the voice within yourself. Zen Proverbs. I mean, this is just so fun. And on the back of it, it says a playful, insightful journal for engaging your beginner's mind. Ask any happy person, you know, curiosity and playfulness. Keep us engaged and connected to what matters most. This Zen Buddhist influence journal helps anyone cultivate beginner's mind, open to observing, laughing, and growing into our best selves. I'm going to do it. I mean, yeah, why not? This is amazing. I'm so loving these journals. They're like, it's like journaling, but with a hint on how to dig deeper and be insightful. It's good to go within sometimes. I mean, that's what Valentine's Day should really be about, because if we love ourselves, then we're good to love others. Uh, recent conf think of your most recent confrontation. Oh, I guess that was in the Dollar Tree with those mean ladies that were mean to the old lady. What you wanted to happen, what actually happened, how you reacted, what you would do differently next time. Interesting. These are this. This is a very cool book. Anyway, I don't want to take up forever on it, but. Yeah, definitely check out the book section at the Dollar Tree because I am just finding more and more amazing books. I actually do have a couple more that I hold the other day, but I feel like I hit pay dirt that one day, like it was book day. And now I'm just sort of finding miracles here and there along the way. But in the real hair expert, extraordinary clay, dry shampoo, clay in a spray. And I picked these up for my girlfriend because she loves a dry shampoo. I don't use it, but she does. Expert formula with three refined clays. I guess clay is good for your hair. I don't know, but I have been using the other clay products and I do think it is pretty good. It says it's no, it's no visible residue, normal to oily hair, four ounces, and it's by L'Oreal. And I'm sure that this is 10, 10 bucks at least in the store, like $8.99. It's not a dollar, guys. Trust me. So if you like um, and there's like another one. They have like three different types of tree. I have like all this makeup still on my hands because I didn't haul wipies. Usually I have wipies that I've hauled, but today I don't have any on the table, so I can't get it off. And the dawning of the age of Aquarius in the spring fling section, they have these gorgeous, gorgeous garland. I picked up three packs of these. I could not help myself. Because I feel like you could literally stitch these onto a blouse and make like the cutest. I feel like you could make straps to a spaghetti strap dress with this. I just love these flowers. They are so cute. So this is what the garland looks like. But you could do a million things with it. That's why I had to buy three of them. Because of course I'm going to use one as garland or two of, as garland, but I'm going to be using them for other things as well. There's no doubt about it. I'm gonna definitely, okay, they're fuzzy and they just made my nose crazy, crazy itchy. I'm allergic to anything fuzzy, but I will be 
because this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, of course, this is the episode of Confessions of a Dollar Tree Attic where everything is floral, hippie, 60s. It just happened that way. But I really do want to put these on a headband. I would love that headband. Literally love it. And I'm going to do it because I'm that kind of cuckoo summertime happy-go-lucky kind of person that but I could see this, you could glue it to, how cute would this be? Honestly, if you have a, a dress that has spaghetti straps and you just attach this to the spaghetti straps, you have like now the cutest, or if you put it along, I just could see this becoming part of a shirt. And I'm gonna make it happen somehow in some way this is going to be on clothing because it's so cute and happy. And I'm, you guys are going to see that this is happening. I may not know how to sew, but I know how to pin things and pin them well. Or just take it to the dry cleaner and have them stitch it up for me for like $7. And I will love it. It's fabric. You can wash it. But just a plain scoop neck, like white or black or yellow, even yellow, if you have a plain scoop neck t-shirt and you just add this to it, how much will you love that? I will love it. Like if I, I'm going to see, I had to buy three because I can't, the possibilities are endless for me. Trim like this is just amazing. It also comes in this multicolor. I have to be honest. I picked these up to use as garland. I don't like these for anything but garland. These, I feel like I want to use for everything in the world. I want to make earrings out of them, headbands, attach them to dresses. I should have bought more than one. I should have bought like 10 of them. Oh, but I did get two of these too, because you never know what you might come up with. I mean, you can actually cut these flowers off one by one and attach them to a leather tote bag. I have a lot of black leather tote bags. How cute would it be if you just cut all the flowers off and just randomly attach them to a black leather tote or even a canvas leather tote? They're beautiful. They're stitched, so they're not going to come apart even if you wash it. See how they're stitched? This is material. It's so fun. No one would ever think that these were just a dollar garland from the Dollar Tree if you put it on something else. I think they're amazing. So I got five in all. And I'm literally obsessed in love. These will be every, I'm going to possibly even attach them to jeans. You could like do patchwork on jeans. They're amazing. I can't tell you that I, when I saw these, I was like, oh, put them in the cart. I have like an affinity to daisies. That's what it is. I also had these as my wedding flower because I just love them. Anyway, I have to get past this because I'm going to drive you guys crazy, but putting them over there, but I have not forgotten about them. And I did pick up one of these baby blue uh, wreath holders because it actually is really cute to have one that's this color for um, Easter. They do come in lavender and pink, but I picked up baby blue because I never had a baby blue one. And I think it'll be cute to have it on my door around Easter time. I think them that I found are these bags and they're amazing. At this point, I've seen everyone haul them and I had them for a long time, but... It's okay because I don't really need them until summer, so it didn't matter to me. Um, these drawstring bags are pretty amazing because you could put your wet beach stuff in here or like your wet beach towel. And if you forget it in the car, at least it's not going to stink up everything because it's mesh and plastic. It's kind of perfect for the beach. I got one black one, one blue one, and one white one. And I feel like that's perfect for our family. The white one is mine. The boys can pick either a blue one or a black one. They'll figure it out. And that way we can each have like our towel. And I mean, we don't have to bring a ton of things when we go to the beach. We live right by the beach. So we just really need a towel to, you know, we bring our chair and a towel. And as long as we put our wet towel in a bag like this, it's not going to get stinky if we forget it in the car. And, you know, whatever else we throw in here, maybe pair of sunglasses or I do have an iPod oh that's the other thing that I hold that I should share with you guys I have an old old it's not an iPod it's an iPhone 
It's like a really old iPhone that's full of music that I still use. And I actually found a case for it that's pretty amazing for a dollar. I was shocked to find it for a dollar, but of course I can't see where that is now. This. So I do. It's it's this. It's five. It's actually the five. It's like probably, I think it's like the first iPhone ever. But this is the case for it, the five. It It's not a phone anymore, but it was like jail broke hacked or whatever that's called. And it doesn't have like phone stuff in it anymore. It just has music. And I just use it for music and I put it on little speakers, but I could just throw this in the bag too. Cause this case is pretty amazing. Very, very good case for a dollar. I mean, I wouldn't honestly, I would never have bought that phone a case if I didn't find it in the Dollar Tree, but to find such a high quality case for it at the Dollar Tree, how could I not buy it? I've seen people hauling all kinds of amazing cases, beautiful, like floral, dried flowers in them and all that stuff, but they don't have, I don't have those kind of phones. So, and I have seen a couple cute cases, but I don't have that kind of phone and I don't know who does. So I'm not just going to buy a million cases, but I actually do still have that old iPhone for music. And I was like, wow, that's kind of amazing. Like right there, this is all, I'm all set for the beach. So, I mean, cause I still listen to that music on that iPhone so I could play music on my iPhone, my old iPhone. And um, use my regular phone. Back then, I actually was an iPhone user, but then I don't know what happened. And then I got over it and I never went back. I used Android from that point on. Um, I don't remember why I did that. Something happened. Oh, I think because I hated. Oh, that's what it was because you had to have AT&T in the beginning with the iPhone. And I ended up hating AT&T. Looked back. I picked up these, the containers. They're supposed to be um, treat containers and adorable and you get three for a dollar that's kind of amazing you can fit little mini sized chocolate bars in here or you can upcycle them into easter lights by you know getting a set of lights i did a whole diy with valentine's ones you can do this with these as well um i just think they're amazing and i have to kind of think about what i'd like to do with them for a while because i think they're really really cute and they need to, to have something happen with them and um yeah, I just think they're super duper cute. So I'm going to mull it over and I might need a lot more than I might need like 15 packs of these because to fill these with candy, you're not getting four for a dollar. You're getting three. The Valentine's hearts, there were four for a dollar. So you sort of got a little bang for your buck there. But still, I did pick them up because I just love them and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I will do something with them. They're very adorable. I did pick up quite a few of these um, Easter grass because I love things that are metallic and iridescent and I couldn't help myself. Not sure what I'm going to do with these either, but maybe I'll put them inside of here. I don't know. We'll see. But I picked them up. And I did pick up these foam rocks. Um, really good deal. You get the light and the dark. And I haven't even thought about my... St. Patty's Day decor yet, but I definitely think these are super cute. And you get, see, there's the darker ones and the lighter ones. They're really sparkly and adorable. And I really, really love green sparkly stuff. And I also picked up some of this St. Patrick's Day foam scatter. It's pretty, it's pretty cute also. Not sure. I'm not sure where I'm going with all of this like iridescent sparkly Stuff, but I actually kind of thought that I might use this for St. Patrick's Day also and then for Easter. I don't know. I haven't figured out what I'm doing yet, but I picked all of that up and I'll mull it over also. I have to let it simmer in my head because sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with like too much sparkle and I just have to have it all. And then a major wishlist item. I finally found the white version of these baskets. Now you guys know that I hold the um, black version of this basket but I had not found the white with black. I found the black with white. And honestly, I'm in love with the black with white basket. And I'm sure that these are going to be just as nice. And I really want to redo my, um, like the shelves that I have over my washer and dryer. I keep my pillowcases in there. <laughs> That's the only linen closet we have in this house. So, 
I kind of, I have a, like three really big bins. And when I go looking for my different colored pillowcases, I have a hell of a time finding them because they're really deep. So I think that I'm going to downsize the bins that I have on the shelves over my washer and dryer into these smaller bins. And I'll probably be able to have five instead of three bigger ones. And then I'll be able to find the pillowcases that I'm looking for easier because I'll be able to like kind of color code them. Because I do have a lot of like velvet. I love velvet pillowcases. That is my, I'm very boho in that way. I have a lot of velvet comforter, like velvet um, quilts. And I have a lot of actual quilt quilts that I've bought that I wish I had made, but I have not. And uh, so I like to have lots of colored pillowcases that kind of clash match with my bed set, if that makes any sense. And so I can separate them by color and put them in these baskets instead of having the big baskets. Now I'll have these smaller ones and I can sort of have like an idea of what, cause I can't ever, I have to empty every pillowcase out of the bins to find the pillowcases that I'm looking for. And my husband's always like, you just emptied out 50 pillowcases, just use any pillowcase. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I need the right ones. Otherwise, I'm not going to be happy. I want to make the bed look nice. And he's like, it does look nice. And I'm like, no, it's not the color. I want the other color. And he's like, okay, dear. But he doesn't care. Like, he would literally sleep with the pillow. He would sleep with the bed with nothing on it. He would be like, okay, let's go to sleep now. And I would be like, I'd rather die than sleep in a bed that has all the wrong pillows and all the wrong. I just can't. That's like... The one thing I'm soups go to sleep, everything has to be perfect. So, yeah. Um, I also hold this washable paint that I wanted to add to some Mod Podge with a sparkle because I kind of have a couple of DIYs left to do. Believe it or not, I'm still doing Valentine's DIYs and it's practically Valentine's Day, but that's okay because I'm going to leave it up until the beginning of March. And I've been really busy. So I did buy, but it's washable paint, but that's okay because I just love that it's red, 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 super duper red. And um, that's everything that I have in front of me right now to share with you from this haul, but I still have more left. And I'm going to try to upload because like I said, the kids are getting out of school. They're going to be on vacation and I'm going to have free time. I'm going to be free to do what I want. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Um out my one week off from school. <laughs> if you guys, if anybody out there, anyone out there that's doing distance learning with their children knows exactly what I mean. This is my vacation. It's not even his vacation anymore. It's mine. So um, that's it. I'm coming to a close. This has been a very hectic, crazy video full of lots of stuff, lots of makeup. Um, I so have so much more to share with you guys, but I'm catching up this week, I promise. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you think of the stuff that I found or what some of your favorite things that you guys have found. And don't forget, winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you're interested, I'm going to come back in a week, go through the comments, and anyone that commented winner, winner, chicken dinner could win these two adorable books my gift to you for being crafty so so don't forget to leave the comments down below guys and as always guys thank you thank you thank you and stay safe and stay savvy guys bye bye